Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with a highly requested video, which is my book review of Speaking in Bones by Kathy Rates. So this book was published in July 2016 and it has 432 pages. So um, this is number 18 in the Dr. Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Rates. However, I will point out that you don't have to read the whole series. This is the only book by Kathy Rates that I've actually read. Um, and basically all of the stories, all of the books are different and the only kind of common denominator is the little group of characters that are reoccurring and obviously make them a series. Um, so the story follows a forensic anthropologist named Dr Temperance Brennan who meets a web sleuth named Hazel Strike. Now Hazel Strike thinks that she has matched the unidentified remains which Dr Temperance Brennan has with a missing person named Cora Teague. While Brennan is quite sceptical over this, you know, she's only a web sleuth, she's not even a detective, you know, is this going to be fake, is this going to be something just to gain attention? Um, some of the points or some of the evidence that Hazel Strike puts forward um, do actually intrigue Brennan, which is why she decides to dive further into the case and actually work with Hazel Strike a little bit. Um, and that is what the story is kind of built on. So as Brennan dives further into the case, she uncovers dark truths along with an avalanche of unanswered questions and mystery, which fills the book with unpredictable plot twists and revelations, which I didn't even see coming. Um, like the ending to this book was an absolute bombshell. Um, like, I, like all through the book, I wasn't really sure how the ending was gonna go, just because of how many things um, Cathy Rach drops in there. Um, but by the end of the book, I didn't see that coming. Like I said, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I did not see that ending. I was so surprised at that ending. Um, so Rates also includes references to like demons and exorcisms and things like that, which obviously you'll know that I absolutely love that. And um, she did it really well. Like sometimes when you add things like that into a story, it can take away from it a little bit especially when it's a crime story so it's supposed to be quite a kind of sensible maybe you might even say realistic story it's not much of a paranormal story um and i loved it she managed to do it so well where it didn't turn into a ghost story but it still had just enough interesting kind of references and stuff to make it a bit of a ghostly story like it kind of suggests that like the paranormal could have a bit of an influence in the outcome to the book or outcome ending of the story um so yes i really loved it and also i find it quite easy to fall into a reading slump which is why i haven't uploaded a video in a while because i haven't been reading very much um because of you know work college that kind of thing um, whereas this book, each chapter ends on a cliffhanger and so when sometimes you'll go, right, I'll finish this chapter and then I'll put it down and go to sleep or whatever. Um, this book, uh, like you finish a chapter and then it kind of ends on like a suggestion or on the beginning of another lead, if you will, and it just keeps you reading. I read this book really quickly um, in the matter of a few days uh it was really that good um so yeah i will just read you the synopsis which says an amateur detective convinced she has identified remains in dr temperance brennan's lab a tape recording of a woman tortured by a monster a case more complicated and horrifying than temp could ever imagine so yes the reason that i was interested in this book in the first place was actually the cover so um like I really just loved kind of the idea of like the dense woodland and then like the kind of bones and the you know mysterious like belonging to someone um shoe there like it kind of made you question like it kind of whose shoe is that why is it there why are there bones on the ground in the middle of the woods like you know it kind of makes you puts you in that scene do you know what I mean it kind of that's why I was so intrigued by it um kind of like from the perspective of standing in the woods and finding this on the ground um is what really intrigued me to the book i'm not normally into like crime 
books crime stories that kind of thing i sometimes do get a little bit bored with them but like i said all i have about this one is positives it was written really well um like you know the way that she adds different kind of topics and ideas into the book and it still keeps the story going like the chapters end on cliffhangers which makes it really easy to kind of carry on reading and you know like the ending every single bit of the story is different i could not predict anything that was coming up in the story um sometimes you get books where you're kind of like okay well this is obviously going to happen next and then it happens and then from that you can guess the ending in this book i did not know where we were going in this i was just following the writing and i loved it um while i do have a fairly long tbr um like all all together i might actually have to get some more kathy rates books because this was really good so yeah um i do have more book reviews coming up i want to do some more book related videos and also some non-book related videos if that's okay um if you have any books that you really would like me to check out and review for you guys let me know in the comment section below or i will leave the link to my instagram down below um so yeah if you want to see any more of my videos i will leave my playlist links down below um yes if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up please and i will stop asking you guys to do things for me because i know how annoying that is um so yes if you have any video ideas for me i really love hearing from you guys so if you do have any video ideas or any questions anything like that i love talking to you guys so you can comment down below you can comment on my instagram dm me on instagram or contact me through wherever you found this video i would really love to hear from you guys so yeah everything you need will be in the description and i will see you guys in my next video bye